Hello and welcome back to the second Gfinity Spring Masters. I'm here with Dave By the way, We've got some more games coming up. The final group games, in fact, of today's tournament. After this, we're going to be moving on to the quarterfinal stage, which is where it gets really interesting. Now, in these final games, I think we've got a Real Madrid versus Real Madrid clash on one of the games. And we've got Real Madrid versus Brazil in the other clash. So, as you'd expect, in this what is essentially a knockout game. Whoever loses it is going to be going out. Whoever wins is going to be going through. You pull out the big guns. Real Madrid are going to come out in three of the four choices. And we've got some interesting uh, matchups here. We've got uh, the Greek versus Epsilon Vinch. We just saw Vinch lose, so he has to win this game. And likewise, we just saw Graham get defeated, and he needs to beat Epsilon Nino. We could have two Epsilon boys through. We could have no Epsilon guys through. So what do you, you think? You're going with the non-Epsilon guys, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've... I'm looking forward to seeing the Greeks game against Vinch because we've already seen um, there's always a lot of goals in uh, his games, like always high scoring. Uh, to be fair, the same can be said about Graham. Like he's good in attack, but his defence maybe lacks a little bit as well. So there's always goals in that game. Uh, it's an odd one to call, but I'm going to say uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get that Graham and the Greek. OK, let's jump straight into the action. Then the Real Madrid-Real Madrid, Real Madrid uh, fixture, which is the Greek versus Epsilon Vinch. It's just kicked off. And uh, we've got Vinch in the black Real Madrid strip and uh, the Greek is in the white Real Madrid classic home strip. OK, so there's nil-nil here. Two legs, don't forget. And the winner over those two legs, or even if it goes to a third leg if necessary, will be going through. The loser will be going home. Until tomorrow, and we have the ultimate team uh, competition as well, which a lot of the guys will be taking part in as well. So another chance to to lift themselves up. We're going to actually be uh, uh, something's going to happen here with the control. I think you might have an issue with the control. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there. Uh, the other game is just kicked off as well. Brazil versus Real Madrid. Um, Vinch and uh, the Greek are just doing some technical changes to some controller setup. They weren't happy with, and they're going to jump straight back into the action. And we're back. Okay, so. Vinch again in the black Real Madrid strip and the Greek in the white. Marcelo on the ball for Vinch. Standoff with uh, Gareth Bale. Back to Marcelo. Switches it over to the other Gareth Bale. Nice little head down to Carvajal right back. Carvajal is going to play the ball down the line looking for Gareth. He's got the pace to get there but I think the keeper's on top of things there. Casillas was far enough out in his box to uh, collect that quite calmly. And it's Modric on the ball for the the classic white stripped Real Madrid uh, going back to Marcelo. Marcelo keeps it and uh, he's going to look inside at some point, I'm sure. He's come quite far in himself. He's going to play that ball. It's cut out, but Rodriguez picks it up. It's Hammers Rodriguez, Ronaldo, Cristiano. Can he create something? That's a good tackle from Sergio Ramos. See, just, just a note on the uh, Brazil Real Madrid game. I'm just going to pick up on what Chrissy was saying where. Uh, when Nino and Tasha playing each other in the both Real Madrid, and he was saying, although this is definitely like a must-win game for both of them, the next game's even more important because, uh, again, you, you could still be going out and you still need to win that one to be able to go through. So he was saying maybe I would have saved Real Madrid for that game, and now you can um, like see why, because Nino obviously used Real Madrid in the game before, so maybe can't use them again. And now he's coming up against Real Madrid. So I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, saved him for the game that's definitely a knockout match, essentially. Yeah, yeah. So... I mean, it, it's always hard to like decide. You need to be very confident in your own ability to not go Real Madrid against someone else who's using Real Madrid, especially someone like Tass. So, uh, yeah, it is a, it's always going to be an odd choice to make, but um, the Greek and Vince have both obviously saved Real Madrid for this moment, and it's gonna, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a tight game. Benzema on the ball here. Plays it into Ronaldo. Ronaldo running at the defence, keeping the ball, doing very well. A lot of space around him, surprisingly. He's creating that space himself. Rodriguez to Gareth Bale. Ball into Kadir, who's in the box. Goes down in the box. Is it We're not going to see a penalty there. I don't think they'd ever play advantage when it's a penalty, would they? They just I've, give it. Uh, it's happened to me in the past. Really? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. really? It's a free kick. Oh, what, are the, what an area here. Who hits this? Gareth or Ronaldo, though? That's the question. The short. Bale's not even on it, so I don't think it's going to be Bale. Rodriguez lays it off to Bale. That's a good deflection uh, attempt from the defender. But would you have done the same thing there? Because it's so so close to the box. Is it easier to lay it off? Yeah, um, because it's, it's it's near impossible to get it over the wall and um, down as well. So, yeah, I would have done the same. Oh, it's done well. Pepe's done very well there. Not what you know him for, having fast feet. It's not his, his, his normal kind of... Uh, well, he, he, let's face it, he's not there to look pretty, is he, Pepe? He does the <laughs> ugly jobs. <laughs> yeah. He does the ugly jobs, so we don't have to. Marcelo, he's going to keep the ball. He's looking for Benzema. But the other Benzema cuts it out. I would have took the free kick in that situation. James Rodriguez. Marcelo. 
back to James. James to Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Marcelo. Nice triangles. Marcelo back to Rodriguez. Good football here from Vinch. Ronaldo back heel to Cohen Trail. Lovely build up. If we get a goal from the end of this, it's going to be beautiful. Marcelo into Ronaldo. The build up's been very tidy. Marcelo keeps it. Is he going to cross it? He's going to keep it. He's looking very good. Oh, he can't get the final pass away. And uh, no chance for either team still, really. Ronaldo to Benzema. Getting a little bit of a shirt pull there from uh, Cohen Trail, but he comes away with it. And he's looking for the ball over to Ronaldo. Oh, oh wow. That was risky. Yeah. Still nil-nil in the Brazil versus Real Madrid game that's going on simultaneously as well. We'll keep you updated on that and we'll go over to their later date, probably uh, in the second leg. But in the meantime, we're going to stay with the Real versus Real Madrid game. And it's Ronaldo on the right-hand side for Epsilon Vinci's uh, uh, Real Madrid in the black strip. Trying to find a pass for Modric, but it's cut out. And now with the Greek, he's going to go up the other end in the white strip of Real Madrid. Ronaldo comes inside. Has he got a little bit of room? He Ooh. has created... Oh, that's created his own kind of wind tunnel there he just ran and the yeah. space he, he, <laughs> that's the thing with Ronaldo is he, he because he's so powerful he can create a route out of nothing yeah he can and uh, even if you try and stop him you know, if your defender puts a foot on the ball but they're like stand oh, oh. Benzema he's going to oh, get there a goal. Oh, I can't believe he's got there he's got stilts on or something <laughs> he had his leg reached out look the keeper was going to get there but no we've had a goal and it's for the Greek. He's gone 1-0 up. Epsilon Vinch will not be happy considering he was leading that last game. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's, that, went, that went all wrong for him. He lost that and now he's gone down here. Benzema. I mean, Vinch is another player who you don't see, you, you don't see like going 1-0 like, down too many times, just like Tass. So um, he didn't really respond well to going 1-0 down in that last game. So let's see what he can do. Oh, he this. might get one back here. Ronaldo's through. Oh, oh the, that's the sort of... We've seen him score a couple of them today, Ronaldo. Yeah, I mean, that was near, near, nearly a carbon copy of the uh, Benzema chance. But on that Benzema, occasion, Ronaldo just didn't... He took a bad touch just before he was about to hit him. Yeah, and Benzema was able to stay cool, calm and collected. Ronaldo back on the ball for Vinch. It's a good tackle from Ramos, one of the best central defenders in the game and a popular choice on FIFA 15. Here's Marcelo for Epsilon Vinch, playing the ball down the line to James Rodriguez. James cuts back. He's going to hold on to it a little bit longer. He's going to play it into Cohen Trout. Cohen Trout, poor pass. Poor pass. And that's what you get when you play people out of position in CDM. May that be a lesson yeah. to you all. Uh, oh, Ronaldo's in. Uh, He's through. Just an update on the other game. Graham has taken the lead in that one. OK, your yeah. prediction is looking very good then. Both your boys have gone 1-0 up. Yeah, well... Some of my predictions today have been terrible, so, you know, can't all be wrong. Cohen Trout switches it over to Gareth Bale. I'd like to see Gareth do something of importance in uh, in today's action. I haven't really seen him come forward and do something amazing just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering he's, like, a really, really, you know, important player for Real Madrid on the game, he, um, I've yet to see him do anything re of really importance yet, but I'm pretty sure that'll change at some point. Here is the man, Gareth Bale, the Welshman. Can he get it on that favoured left foot or is he going to cross it on his right foot? He plays it on the floor to Ronaldo. Ronaldo's looking for the ball to Benzema. Not enough on it. Keeper cuts it out. Ike Casillas, he's been there, he's done that. This guy's been in goal for Real Madrid for more than a decade now, I think. And uh, he's got safe, safe hands. It's 1-0 to the Greek against Vinch half-time in the first leg. And we're going to pick up the second half action now. Here we go. You can see the boys in the booth there. Looking very tense, looking calm. And, uh, you know, you have to remain calm, I think. It's an important facet of, of competitive FIFA and competitive gaming in general. Yeah. It's not letting anything get to your head too much. There's nothing wrong with celebrating when you score and enjoying that moment. But then seconds later, back into game mode. Yeah, you keep your head. And another update from the other game, it's now 1-1. One, one. Rocky has equalised. Wow, all even over there no, as Rocky, well. Sorry, Nino. Nino, yeah. So no one, uh, no clear, no clear winner in that in that uh, leg right now. But in this one, we've got the Greek who's got the lead. He's playing in the white Real Madrid strip, and Vinci is playing in the black. And he's one nil down, and he needs a goal. But this is only the first leg. Plenty of time yet. Here's James Rodriguez loses the ball. Poor pass. Cohen Trail picks it up. Benzema looking for Ronaldo. Can Ronaldo take that down? No, he's beaten to the ball by Sergio Ramos. Here's Modric. Goes back with a back heel to Sami Khedira, who's not been used by some people, but he's been used by the Greek. And uh, he's cut out there, but Gareth Bale playing quite central by the looks of things. He's playing Bale in CDM, is he? Uh, Very deep, unless he's just... He seems quite deep, doesn't he, Gareth Bale? I'm not sure exactly uh, where he's playing. I, if he, no, I think he's, his CDM's going to be Kadira and Modric. 
think he was just that one position he was in there. He was just covering. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's on the right. Here's Benzema. This could be a chance. It could be. He's oh, just held on to it for too long. Yeah, well, he's just, what he wanted to do, well, the, the pass to Bale would have been too obvious. He was waiting for, to see if Ronaldo would have made like a last dart in running. He would have tried to put it through to him, but um, he was tackled before Ronaldo could even, well, start a run. Ronaldo. Oh, Ooh. bit of skill. Ooh. Oh, he's great. That's what I'm talking about. He's created that space himself. Is he going to risk the left foot, weak foot shot? No, he didn't want to do that. He it back? He's, he's going to take the corner. Oh, yeah. I thought the ref might have brought it back to the free kick. But... He's gone short on the corner. Ronaldo goes to Modric. Modric back heel to Marcelo. Marcelo takes his time. Who's he going to go to? He's going to go. He's going to attract the players. He's going to bring a lot. Of... Watch the ball. Watch when it goes to Real Madrid shirt. Oh, oh, not in this case, but how many people were actually closing them down was quite impressive there. It's a good tackle from Sergio yeah. Ramos. He's had a very good game for the Greek. See, that could have gone one of two ways. And uh, obviously Ramos um, came out on top and Ronaldo was on the floor. But a lot of times um, it would be the other way around. Ronaldo would get up first. Ronaldo would, um, Ramos would still be on the floor. And Ronaldo would just get a clear like, run at goal. Gareth Bale into Cohen Trout, who goes to Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes back out to Gareth Bale. Bale goes inside to Cohen Trout. Cohen Trout. He's going to hold it and play a good ball for Gareth Bale. We've got an opportunity here. Uh, Vinch is a poor pass from Vinch there. He's going to be disappointed about that one. That would have been a good way of getting back in the game. And Alex can go on the counter-attack now. Kadira into Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Modric. Luka Modric to Croatian. There's a bit of an unnecessary spin there, but he did it because he fancied it. He and he's gone inside. Sorry? He could have had a shot then. Oh, no, that's, a, ooh. Ooh, that's an area where... A lot oh, no! Oh, what a save. Casillas yeah. saved him there. Yeah, that's Another a, mistake at the back from That Vinch. area where he had all that space with Modric, that's a, an area where people tend to have a lot of success with long-range shots. And just an update on the other game again, Graham is now retaking the lead. OK. He's now 2-1 up. Vinch has made a catalogue of defences er uh, defensive errors in his last two games we've been watching him. Yeah, it's, it's again, it's unlike him. Him and Tass really, you know, they haven't perform to expectations if you will in this tournament Tass has already ate at the groups and you know it's looking like the same might be happening to Vince so two former champions of Gfinity could be going out to the groups today so the ties may have turned it really shows you just how competitive FIFA is on the pro scene there's really not a lot to tell between each player and and you know the ones that can stay at the top for long and win multiple tournaments they really deserve a lot of credit yeah definitely Look, just like Bruce that's why he's so admired in the FIFA community I think because he's He's been a champion on so many different titles, which, you know, that's so hard to do. Yeah, very difficult. And there's another goal for Graham as well, so he's now 3-1 up. I don't know if you heard that at home, guys, but he absolutely shouted when he scored yeah. that one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he was very happy with that one. He's let it all loose, and uh, yeah, he's 3-1 up in that one. I think that those booths are pretty much soundless as well, and even we managed to hear him through that, so... I don't, know how, I don't know what the decibel reading was that, but I'd imagine it was somewhere around the Serena Williams mark. <laughs> Sammy Kadira plays it inside to James Rodriguez, but it's cut out by Varane. Varane goes to Benzema. Benzema can't control the ball very well, and it's lost it. And here's Sammy Kadira. So Ronaldo's got the ball here on the edge of the box. He can, if he gets the goal now, it's going to go 2-0. It's going to be really good for him with 12 minutes left in this first leg. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, it's cut out. Here is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's, he's taking his time. He's trying to get that perfect opportunity. Oh. He might make it. Oh, oh my wow. word. How did he get that to go there? That I was don't a know. Great goal. Top left corner from yeah. that angle. It's unbelievable. To be honest, I think he would have been aiming for the other corner. But yeah, <laughs> that was. Did he get a deflection? To be honest, I, I thought that at first, um, at first but I'm. I'm not really sure. But either way, he nothing away from the skill and the way he created that chance. That was absolutely brilliant. Ronaldo's got, oh, hello, I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, my word, oh, what a reply, yeah. a swift reply from Kareem Benzema. I tell you what, I think what did that move, what helped him make that goal there was when he passed it to Ronaldo, everyone and his dog, including me, thought he was going to do something with Ronaldo. Yeah. But instead of the first time pass, he thought, actually, Benzema's in a better spot. I'm going to get the ball out of Ronaldo's feet straight to Benzema, who was in space, because all the defenders were thinking about the, the CR7 danger. And, uh, and it worked for him perfectly. Yeah, he definitely, uh, Vinch definitely needed that goal straight away or I think the game might have just got away from him because Vinch could have, uh, the Greek could have just played uh, you know, his, own, uh, his own pace and he could have just killed the game off. But now he's got that, he can't really sit back on this one goal lead. Such a killer blow when you've fought for so long to get a goal back. You get it and then a second later you concede. But they do say you are most vulnerable when having just scored. Yeah, definitely. Say in the game quite a lot. <laughs> Here we go. James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez. 
He's done well, but he's not got a pass away. Now it is to Marcelo. Can Marcelo play it in? No, he can't. Vince trying desperately to get a last-minute goal here, but I don't think he's going to be able to make it happen. Benzema, in fact, he could get hit on the break. Ronaldo here, he's got some options. He's got some space. He's done very oh, well. That could be a penalty. That's a free kick. He's just outside the box. Great range for Gareth Bale to get his left foot round this one, though. Yeah. Surely we're going to see a shot. Is that in? Is that in? It looked like it was in, but I don't think they've given it. Oh, it, it is, is a penalty. penalty yeah. You're completely right. Cristiano Ronaldo with a chance in the 90th minute to make it 3-1. Oh, oh, that's unlucky. Yeah. That's very oh, unlucky for the keeper. Is, uh, he's got his two goal cushion back, bang on the 90th minute. In both games right now were 3-1. So that, that one just finished 3-1 to the Greek. And in the other game, uh, Graham is winning 3-1 against Nino. Also with Real Madrid yeah. against Brazil in that one. So the second game is going to kick off Pretty sharpish here. Oh, no, we're going to go back out because I think they want to change yeah. some of the things in their team. So if we can just quickly jump into that Brazil-Real Madrid match. It's in the dying embers of the match. It'll be good to uh, see how that one finishes. So here we go. Brazil versus Real Madrid. David Luiz to Hulk. Hulk, Brazil would like to get a, a quick goal if they can, just to, to set things up nicely for that second leg. Instead of having two-goal deficit, reducing it to one. But they've not got a lot of time to do that. And if they go up and concede another one now, it could be lights out. Here we go. Costa. Oh, through ball for Hulk. Can he make it happen? Hulk, he's incredible. Don't make him angry. <laughs> and he's going to get the ball away. He has done it. Costa in the ball in the box now. He's done well. Can he get the shot away? Oh, Varane with the back yeah. heel in the box. That would have been a nasty time to concede a goal. That is Finch well knows. super confident defending from Raphael Varane, the young Frenchman. And it's finished 3-1, just like the first leg of the other game. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty much domination in terms of shots from Real Madrid. Although possession... Mostly with Brazil, and we've seen that quite a lot actually today. Is that the team with less possession has actually been um, had a lot more shots than the team with more possession? Yeah, I mean the key score line is uh, well, the key stat sorry is a score line, and uh, yeah, I mean we've seen with Barcelona in the past in real life, although they are very good and they don't lose a lot. Possession doesn't always win your games. Uh, same goes on FIFA. It's only nine tenths of the law. Yeah, the other tenth is goals. Here's Ramos. He goes to Hesse Rodriguez. Cohen Trail. Remember, Real Madrid are 3-1 up in this fixture. Uh, Graham playing as Real Madrid. And Nino is uh, Brazil. And he needs some goals. But Real Madrid are the team in dominance right now. It's offside Sorry, for Marcelo. Yeah. Danilo on the free kick for the Brazilians. He's going to go short to Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva is going to play it into David Luiz, his PSG teammate. Costa on the ball here, back into David Luiz. Costa, uh, David Luiz goes inside to Neymar. Neymar's got an exceptional goal-scoring record for Brazil. I think he's got close to 50 goals already in his young age, Ooh, if not surpassing it. It's going to be a goal. It's going to be yeah. a goal. And it's 4-1 to Graham. And it's really not looking good for El Nino right now. Um, it's not El Nino. I keep calling him that. It's Epsilon Nino. But I'm going to call him yeah. El Nino. Yeah, Epsilon Nino. I don't, think right. I don't think he minds it. No, that's the Fernando no. Torres nickname, isn't it? The yeah. kid, I think it means. The kid. 1-0 to Real Madrid in this second leg. 4-1 on aggregate. And uh, for Nino to get back in this is going to take a lot. But we have had a goal in the other game. Um, I'm not sure which Real Madrid team it fell for, though. It's going to make a big difference who it was, because it was 3-1 to, uh, to, not to Graham, sorry, to uh, the Greek in that one. And if he's got it, it's going to be 4-1 up to him. Yeah. But if it was Vinch, it will be 3-2 and it'll be game on. I think that was the Greek who scored that. And if he has, uh, I think that might have just... Uh, so it'll be yeah, the same in this situation. Both both games will be four one. Yeah, I think it might have put the final nail in Vinch's coffin there. Oh dear, we could be saying goodbye to Vinch and Epsilon Nino. Both the Epsilon players could be leaving the tournament at the group stage as things stand. And Epsilon, Epsilon Nino there rubbing his head in uh, despair. He really does not look too happy. Conceded four goals over two games. It's, Quite a lot of goals. If you can see that many, you can't really expect to win unless you go and score five. We have seen a few people score five, in some cases more, over the two games. I think what our biggest scoring match was 7-5 yeah. over the two games. 12 goals in two matches. That's a lot of entertainment, a lot of bang for your buck. And here's Benzema. And you can see at the bottom, the score is 4-1 to Graham over Epsilon Nino right now. Uh, but plenty of time. We've seen people come back from this sort of scoreline before. But he does need a goal, I'd say, before half-time if he's going to do it. Because he's also got to stop Graham scoring again. Yeah, just after seeing Nino there, I think it's, I think it's actually vitality, uh, Nino, well, to clash of the big teams in France there, but regardless, uh, it's 4-1 game right now. 4-1 in both games there, 
But uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's not looking good for the two guys that are for one down, but they have got time to get back in it. And uh, we, yeah, like I say, we have seen people come back from these events before and uh, these sort of score lines before other Gfinity events. And uh, you, of course, can come to Gfinity events if you want to come and see some of this action live instead of on a, a screen on Twitch. You can see them up close and personal doing their thing. All you've got to do is go to gfinity.net forward slash tickets and you can even come tomorrow to the Gfinity Ooh. London are Arena here in Fulham for the uh, inaugural Play Like a Legend Championships with Xbox. It's going to be a hell of a hell of a tournament tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be really fun for people to watch. Uh, going to be interesting as well because obviously it's a lot different to the head-to-head -head and most of these players that's what they're used to uh, it's the first real big ultimate team land tournament if you will so it's kind of a uh, you know entering new waters well let's i'm pretty sure it's going to do really well yeah i can't wait for that i mean i think it's something that the community has been crying out for for a long time ultimate team being such a popular game mode uh, and you know to have a competitive every popular game mode needs the sort of competitive top level and this this could be it yeah yeah it could be and well i really hope it is for the sake of fifa I I mean, G gfinity are doing really well like progressing fifa is an esport and now like with xbox on board as well you know it's a great um, combination to have so I'm, I'm pretty sure that can go um, it can do really well I'm sure it will. And we've got Brazil on the ball here. David Luiz to Oscar. Neymar. Brazil need a goal. And they need it relatively sharpish if they are going to get back in this. It's Costa inside to David Luiz. Back to Costa. Inside to Neymar. Neymar to Oscar. He's just not got the strength to fashion anything. But he's held on to the ball, actually. Neymar still got it. Neymar to Willian. Willian. No, no, no. And Real Madrid could come forward and just end things now with one more goal I think would make it conclusive can they, can they get that goal here Benzema on the right hand side it's a lovely oh, cross oh, in wow. one of the crosses of the tournament I'd say that yeah. was was that a double tap would you say I think that might have been a double tap that was brilliant and um, again I think he's just broke the same uh, barrier then Graham has just absolutely <laughs> screamed at the top of his voice there and you can understand why because yeah, not only was, was it a brilliant ball not only was it the goal that's pretty much going to get him through it was also a lovely cross. Yeah. Beautiful. That was, that was an absolutely brilliant ball. You haven't seen too many crosses like that. No, top, it was so good it almost looked like it was a bad ball at first because yeah. it, it was so far wide, but then it, 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 the, the, it span in or it curved in yeah. and just landed on Ronaldo's right boot. And uh, yeah, making it 5 1 now to Graham. Your prediction for this one looks absolutely bang on. Um, and uh, Nino won't be happy about this at all. He needs some goals. He needs them quick if he's going to have any chance of getting out of this. And he could get one now. David Luiz can bang them. But he wasn't able to get a shot away with him. And another chance for a counter-attack from Graham. Yeah, it's going to be the story of this. No, he's just going to be get Graham on the counter-attack over and over again. Because he, he doesn't need to do anything now. He can just sit back. Look at that pace from Ronaldo. Oh. He's making mincemeat of the Brazilian defenders. Thiago Silva does well, though. Could have even taken that step further, like another drag inside. Neymar, no, he's not really got anyone. Neymar's a great player, but yeah. he's he's kind of finding himself in the position that Messi's been in for years in this game right now, which is that he's just not, they're not able to really put it into practice in the game and show what he can do. He's not, it's, it's a bit too slight. And he, as a striker, especially, he, he's not the outlet you probably need in this game. I'm not sure because a lot of uh, people do really like using him. The differences between Neymar and Messi is the five-star skill moves. I think if Messi had the five-star yeah. skill moves, it would... Uh, it would, you know, close that, uh, I don't know what to call it, but he'd be used a lot more than Molly is, whereas Neymar, he's got five-star skill, skill moves. And, uh, you know, if you pass it to him, he can first-time fake shot it and first-time scoop most of the time as well. So uh, Neymar is, is a really commonly used player, and I'm pretty sure he's, he's a common player on Ultimate Team as well. I know he's, he's like, yeah, he, no, I've very got popular. him in mind. I think he's probably preferred out wide than up front on his own, though. Yeah. Just because he's not yeah. got that that strength you probably need. But in real life, yeah, you can use him anywhere. This guy's super versatile. And we were just talking about his impressive goal record for Brazil earlier. He, he scored. An, he's almost certainly going to be Brazil's all-time leading yeah. goal scorer, bar a disaster. And that's the uh, half-time whistle in that one. And it's going to be half-time in the other game any second as well. When we've got two clear front runners in these matches right now. Nino needs to pull it out of the bag big time if he's going to get back in this game. I think he's he's four goals to the deficit here. He's, and he's got a chance here. Neymar's tackled uh, Ramos. If he can create something here, then it could be away. Neymar, lovely skill. But Ramos re recovers it well. And uh, it's not going to be enough to get Brazil the goal they need. 
And uh, Real Madrid, every time Brazil have a chance, or half a chance, seconds later, Real Madrid are going through at the other end. Yeah, this is going to be the story of this game. Uh, in the other game, I think we got uh, Vinci going for it now. Obviously, he's got to. Yeah, he's got to throw caution to the wind, try and get himself some goals. He's not four goals down, as Nino finds himself, but I think he is uh, two or three goals down at least. Yeah, I think he's three goals down. Yeah, he needs yeah, a lot of goals. Costa on the ball for Brazil. We're going to see a lot of this, just Brazil, a lot of possession. Graham's more than happy to let him have it because he doesn't need it. Here he is on the ball. Ronaldo, surely not going oh, number six. Touch. He just let it ride across his body there. Is that deliberate? He looked like he even like, may have touched into that direction. That was. If that so, was that was absolutely top quality. Dennis Burkamp esque. Yeah. Uh, Benzema. Burk, speaking of Burkamp, we could see him in action tomorrow in the Legends tournament. Yeah. Each person is able to use up to three legends in their team on the uh, Play Like a Legend tournament tomorrow. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if and what legends are selected in that uh, tournament. And that's a free kick on the edge of the box here for Brazil, I believe. And uh, if he can get it in, I mean, who's his best hope on here? Is it Hulk on the left foot? Uh, this angle? It depends how far it is, to be honest. He's I'd, I'd, I'd use Neymar from there, it's only 30 yards. He's gonna, it looks like he's going to go, he's going to look at the options. I think he's going to um, lay off. I don't think he's playing Hulk, so he can't go with oh, Hulk. No, he's going past He's him. hitting it with Neymar, the player on the line clears it, but I don't think that would have beaten the keeper. It wasn't no. really fast enough. Barely any pair on it. I thought he passed it because there was such little pair on the bar. David Luiz into Willian. Back to David Luiz. Can he get across in? He's going to take one more touch. Oh, he's cool. Calm. But he needs goals and he can't afford to be too calm. He's just not getting, he's not testing the keeper. He's doing everything but, and we've got another goal, and it's the second goal in that game against Vinch for the Greek. And the Greek just looks like he's, he's walking into the, uh, the knockout rounds with pretty with quite a lot of ease here. Yeah, five, he's winning 5-1 overall. I mean, um, in the last game, it was 5-2 to Alex against Vinch. So he's, you know, he's being beaten pretty comfortably, it seems, over these two games. Yeah, it's 10 goals over two games. I mean, that's that's a lot to concede. And interesting, speaking of symmetry, right? Listen to this, OK? Last game, or last both games of last round, both finished 5-2. And right now, both these games are sitting a 5-1. Yeah. Something in the water here. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what it is, but here at Gfinity Arena in London, we're getting some uh, very similar score lines. Modric plays the ball into Hesse Rodriguez, but it's intercepted. But Hesse keeps it. Gareth Bale, what can he do? He needs to, we need Gareth Bale to step up in these, uh, this tournament. I haven't seen a lot from him yet. Hesse Rodriguez to Ronaldo. Could we see goal number six? Oh, it's a good header, but it's gone over. Graham really is probably the most animated person we've seen in today's tournament. He's definitely yeah. the... Um, I mean, he's even frustrated there. He's five, like, was he 5-1 off? <laughs> yeah, he wanted the sixth. Yeah. He was desperate for the sixth. He's unhappy with every single chance that he misses, which, you know, that's... It's not exactly bad to see. He's the John McEnroe of FIFA. Yeah. Some of our younger audience might not get that. I'm trying to think of someone more contemporary that uh, shouts at officials or, sh or makes a, a big deal of things. But let's just trust us on that. You can yeah. see when we go to the booth, he is... Uh, he's, oh, David Luiz, you've got to hit that. Oh, Why did you not God. hit it earlier? He's, he's very capable of good long shots. But he didn't want to use that. And I think if you're a striker, yeah. you're Neymar, they have the extra touch because you've got the pace and the ability to do that. But Louise, I'd feel more comfortable just banging it. Yeah, there. I would have hit that there. Because to be fair, he's, he's shooting stats on that bad. Even decent. David Luiz, I think that probably, that, there's a good chance that would have gone in if he did that there. I've scored some screamers with David Luiz. He's brilliant on this. I mean, has he got, I think he's going to be centre-defensive mid as well, just like... Yeah. Um, and uh, just an update in the other game, Vince has actually got one back now. It's 2-1 in that game, which is 5-2 overall. Still three goals behind. Yes, it's, that's in the 17th minute as well. So 20 just, minutes. Just slightly behind this. It's not impossible. Yeah, Looking fine. more possible in that game than this game, which is still very hard doing kick-ups at the back. Wow, Graham, that is... Uh, it's, it's, it's confident and it's almost insulting yeah. to his <laughs> opponent there. The lack of respect on show. Yeah, it kind of just reminds me when Alex was like, throwing all those skill moves about against Vinch right at the end. <laughs> yes, yes. Trying to score superb goals instead of normal goals. Yeah. William on the ball. Again, this looks like it's going to be a win for Graham, I think. But it would be good for Nino if he can get some goals back. Just because he will be going out of the top competition if he loses this game. And so, oh, it could be one there. And so it would be nice for him to go away knowing that he didn't get beat 5-1. 
if we can reduce it to 5-2 or even 5-3. Yeah, just get some consolation as well. Just, you know, I mean, Graham has short. played well. He's created some really good chances. Marcelo. Oh. At the same time, Nino has not exactly played very bad either, so. David Luiz, he, he seems overly reluctant to just hit a shot from, from without it being yeah. a, a solid goal, if you like. He's, yeah. He's working it, overworking it. There's a few players like that here, but again, it's just like Levy, which we were saying. He, he will only shoot if he feels like there's a very good chance that he's going to go in. And uh, Levy's out of the competition yeah, now. Yeah, and he looks like Nino's going to go out as well. So that, that style, it, it does work, but just not always. Here is Benzema on the ball for Graham to Modric. Modric has done well. Goes back to Benzema. Could we see goal number six? Ronaldo's going to make it. I think he's going to get it. Oh, oh my he, word. How, how he managed to turn there uh, under that much pressure, I don't know. I think most of us, including myself, thought he was going to go near post with that one. Slot it home. Yeah. Finesse. Bottom oh, left. Oh, but no, he cut back in. I want to see the replay of it because I don't know how he's managed to turn. Oh, well. I think it was just so that I don't think Nino expected him to do it. He thought he'd almost resigned to conceding the goal at the near post. Yeah. He stopped defending yeah, and allowed well that. Be. And the real is the fact that Graham knew he was going to do that. That's the really impressive yeah. thing. It's a 6-1 here. What a, what a warning this is from Graham to the rest of the people watching. Yeah, he might have lost a game. But he's come back and he looks like he means business. 3-0 in this second leg. 3-1 in the first. 6-1. One of the most convincing victories we've seen today, if not the most. It might be the only one we've seen win by five goals. Or will it be by four goals if William oh, can get one back? Oh, oh what a goal. It's going to be a, a repeat scoreline. 3-1 again. Just as I was saying, he scored. He's going to be winning by a, a five-goal margin. He's had it reduced to four. Yeah, that was really, that was a really nice goal. Wow. Let's finish out the near post as well. Just to clarify that, I think 6-2 is the biggest win margin we've had so far today. So four-goal win margin has been the biggest, and we're going to match that here. And that was uh, the Ox versus, or the, the almighty Ox versus uh, Fair Perry. Game over in the uh, game with the Greek and Vinch. Vinch is out. Epsilon Vinch has gone uh, from the competition. He'll be back tomorrow for the Ultimate Team edition, but he is gone. And uh, as is Nino, they're both gone. And we're seeing Graham and the Greek go through to the knockout rounds. And that concludes our group games. We yeah. know exactly who's going to be through in the knockouts now. And uh, I'm going to come back to you now with a question. Uh, I asked you this at the start of the day. I'm going to ask you again now. Have you changed your your prediction on who's going to win this? No. Nope. Staying with Spencer. Uh, well, no. Spencer was my prediction for tomorrow. Prediction. Oh, sorry, Chris. Then. Yeah, Chris. You're staying with Chris? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I mean... What about the? Has anyone shocked you today? Has anyone that you thought maybe wouldn't do well has, has done well and gone through, and vice versa? We've had we've definitely had some notable omissions, people yeah. that haven't made it through. Uh, I've not been shocked in the sense that I thought someone might have done bad and done well, but I've been shocked at the you know task getting grouped, Finch getting grouped, um, Levy getting grouped. But that's a, that, as you said, that's just a standard of competitive FIFA um, at the moment. Everyone's just it's so tight. It, it's just too hard to call and it's great that some of these it's great for the game not for the people themselves but the, the, these, the some of the more known recognised faces are actually being beaten by you know in some cases newcomers in some cases people that have qualified online and come yeah. along so we're going to look at the actual results on the screen now so you guys can see the clarification of the final scores of all the group games which have all been played now and the games we just saw happen which was the Greek versus Epsilon Vinch the, the bottom uh, game on booth one there in group B which was won 5-1 by the Greek, very convincing victory and an equally convincing victory. Another four goal margin uh, was in the final game in Group D, which you can see at the bottom of the booth two list there, the very bottom of the screen. Epsilon Nino uh, losing 6-2 to Graham. And so Graham is through and the Greek is through and we know exactly who's going to be going through and you're, you're tipping, uh, you can see on the screen, as Krill FC or Chris as is known um, to win this whole yeah. event. Yeah, um, although he's a newcomer, Spencer was a newcomer last time we managed to win it. And uh, there's a group standing as we're seeing them. So uh, Group A, Gorilla topped his group. So uh, defending champion, couldn't have really done much better. Bruce Granite coming in second. And unfortunately in that group, the almighty Ox and Fur Perry, which that was a shock because, you know, second place in the last tournament, finished yeah. the bottom of his group, losing all his games. And, uh, you know, Group B, um, Alex, I'm not going to say that because I've already forgot how to say it. Um, and the Greek progressing from there. Um, and 
Epsom Vinch again, a defend. A def uh, he's not the defending champion, but he's a Gfinity champion. Um, Gary Nate and Staring Status, Gary Nate as well, which again, two shocks. Uh, group C, the newcomer Chris, who I'm tipping to win the old tournament, um, going through in a really hard group. You know, we all know how good Brian is, and uh, uh, Dragon, okay, Sean Allen, he's known for being one of the best players in the UK, and now we just seen the bracket as well, in fact. So, um, you can see who's going to yeah. be playing who. Yeah, so it's going to be Gorilla against the Greek and Chris and... Um, Let's Ray. take a look at that bracket now yeah. so everyone else can see it. So you're saying Spencer, a.k.a. Huge Gorilla, taking on the Greek. Yeah. Uh, we've got Krill FC, your, your tip, yeah. playing Graham, who we just saw absolutely dominate his game, 6-2. That's going to be a really good matchup. And we've got Alex taking on Bruce Granick. Oh, that's a, I'm looking forward to that one especially. And then, you know, Epsilon Rocky versus Vitality Bryans. Another good matchup as well. So... That, I mean, it's, difficult. it's really difficult. I mean, we're looking at a potential Spencer versus Krill uh, semi-final. Yeah, I think that top half of the bracket is definitely a bit harder. But um, then again, you know, everyone's as good as each other. So um, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, we could see a repeat of the... Uh, actually, it was, it was Brian and Spencer met in the semi-final, yeah. didn't they? It wasn't the final. So it was Fair Perry and, and Huge Griller. We're talking about the original Spring Masters, which happened about a month ago. But yeah, so somewhere in that list of eight names is today's winner. Yeah. And you're saying Krill FC. I'm going to stay with the current champion. I'm going to go with Huge Gorilla. Okay. I think he can do it. And uh, we'll see what happens. But not long to go before those games do kick off. We're going to have a quick break now. But when we come back, you've got more very competitive FIFA to look forward to. We'll see you soon.
I'm not gonna lie, 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 I'm not gonna lie,